Okay, so moving on from the RM series mixer, when you're in a larger environment and you need some good remote control, let's introduce the Presonus Studio Live CS18 AI. So basically what this does is this is the control surface for either of the RM series mixers. You can even have multiple RM mixers working together. So you can put a RM32 AI with an RM16 AI giving you 48 channels, for instance. This adds more interface control to the RM mixer, but doesn't restrict anything else. Now, let me explain that a bit. I've had similar situations in the past where you've tried to use kit like this, and if you use an automated desk, the automated desk has to reflect the tablet. So wherever you go on the automated desk, you go to the same place on the tablet. That's totally not true on the PreSonus equipment. So whilst I'm doing front of house, an engineer I'm working with can be squeaking out the monitors on stage. His changing window looks on his tablet does not affect where I am on the desk. It seems like a little point and it won't affect everybody, but it's well worth mentioning because there's nothing worse than flipping between one control surface and finding someone else is adjusting the same thing that you're trying to adjust. This basically works in units of 16. So although you have 16 faders, we have up to 64 motorized faders in banks of 16. So you can come up and down your mix. So for instance, if you had two RM32s coupled together for a uh, big live event, you could handle all faders on here via units of 16. What this also does is controls PreSonus's flagship door, Digital Audio Workstation. I'm being really impressed with Studio One at the moment, which I'm trying to learn and see where it sits with me. Put that in context, I've been using Logic since it started, and Pro Tools pretty much since it started. I started on session eight, I believe. But even if I wanted to, I couldn't have you. Something about the smile you gave so this is a remote desk that with AVB control can also handle audio for your monitoring. So one Ethernet cable, front of house, no matter the size of the venue, you can monitor, you can get talk back live onto stage. Running through our heads, struggling in there. Maybe we should take this chance on. can drop into record with Studio One. I keep wanting to say a cliche like the possibilities are infinite, but as I haven't found a limitation yet, I kind of have to. The possibilities with an RM series interface and a CS18 control surface are infinite as far as I'm concerned. You get control of all the effects units on an RM series rack mount desk. You get control of all 16 monitor mixes. You get control of the fat channel. In fact, the fat channel lies here across the top of the interface with knobs and LEDs so you can see what you're doing. So you just select the channel you want to work on and that channel strip will come across the top of your desk. Unless you've got input or output selected, in which case you will be seeing your input channels across the desk until you touch something and then your channel strip will take priority.
I'm loving the fact that this is also wireless. You can have an internal wireless setup between this, your RM series rack mount mixer, and your computer, and all your tablets. I've yet found a limitation on the amount of tablets or computers that can be connected to this interface at the same time. There's even a little app for your phone, so everyone in the band can have a mix and themselves on their phone, so they can adjust the level of themselves to their heart's content. I'm, I'm in two minds about that, because I'm not sure whether you should give a singer control of their own volume. Me, more of me, can I just have more of me? <laughs> You also have outputs on here to your monitors and headphone output. You also have a talkback that will, via the Ethernet, connect to stage. So using a, a, a robust technology like Ethernet, instead of having a multi-core down the theatre, we have one tiny cable. I will go on and on about that because having worked in and out of venues for years, the implication of that is staggering. A large venue multi-core will cost you more than a CS18 and an RM32 put together. Thanks for watching. Follow us via all the usual social networks. We're going to carry on developing our knowledge with Presonus and we will bring you updates over the month and also introduce you to new devices in our journey to uh, find affordable, high production value audio equipment.